Hello, today I have a unboxing to share with you. It is from Your Creative Studio. And I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. And it looks like it's a baking theme. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me, but I did get receive this box and I have received a box in the past and I've loved their stuff. So I will put the link to their website in the description box below. I have only undid the sides. So I thought I would unbox it for you guys. I like this paper and I've used it in collage before. to save as much as I can. It looks like these are some little cards and it will be a little bit of a challenge for me to use some of these but I think I have an idea for some personal recipe cards and some things that I am going to be creating with my niece. These stickers are really cute. What else? Looks like some washi. Oh, that's very cute. Can you see the color? I'm using a new camera, so bear with me if it's a little off. I shut the autofocus off because that was driving me crazy. And I have all this <laughs> lined up here. Things are drying, so I was in between. I thought this is a good time to do a quick video. See, now I can use that in other, in other themes. These look like little, maybe vellum. Or just little cards. That's very cute. Very vintage. Yes, those are very cute. I'll definitely be using these. And there's a little bit of a fairy tale theme, which I love. Some shabby. I just like doing all kinds of different journals and different projects. It makes me happy to keep things, you know, changing. So that's real cute. Here is a wood stamp. I like these bags too, so I try to recycle as much as I can. Oh, that's just a little, I would think maybe a waiting staff hand with a little tray. So that's cute. And this has, oh, another little stamp. Oh, that's cute. So I think that would go really well with some recipe cards. I am changing up my, I made a recipe folder, which is just works for me. Ooh, little vintage things. Let's see. Oh, little pieces of collage paper. Definitely can use these in all kinds of backgrounds. So that's fun. I'm going to set that aside. Rub on transfers. Oh, looks like a little bit more stickers. Some rolling pins. Definitely can use these flowers and other things. So it does have a lot of versatility in this. Oh, it looks like some tissue. I love stripes, so I will definitely use this in backgrounds as well for collage. Pine branch. This looks like it might be going with what I am working on currently. Oh yeah, little pieces of ephemera, little tickets, little botanical things. Definitely go with what I'm working on now. So that is so nice. So thank you to your creative studio. And here are some stamps. What I believe I'll use these for is my recipe fol folder, but also share them with family and friends that will be doing the project with me. So those are really cute. And it looks like some papers as well. I'm going to open this up. I try to use up things that maybe I'm not going to make a whole cooking journal, but I can make other projects for personal use and for gifts. 
And I think these are fun papers. Ooh, I really like that. Oh, it's a piece of vellum. That'll be fun to use. And even the packaging, I would take a, a piece out of this and maybe back some ephemera with that. These are very cute. I love the polka dots. Very vintage looking papers. I think that just repeats. So lovely items. And again, I'll leave the link to their website in the description box below. Thanks for joining me, guys, and have a great day. I will be doing some altered. Um, I have one done so far. I'm working on the big project there. But <laughs> I'll be doing some altered bingo cards later this week. So look for that video. Thanks. Have a great day.